Hi there and welcome to Wellbeing Wednesday. This week I'd like to share an NLP technique called reframing with you. Reframing as an NLP technique um, can focus on a conversation between two people, whether that's in a therapeutic environment or just a simple conversation that you're having with another person. It's making a little nudge to mindset through the use of language. This can be quite a big topic, uh, so I'm just going to focus on one word. Uh, for those of you who are sensitive to some uh, mild swearing, uh, I apologise. Um, and if you're really offended by a little bit of mild swearing, then you might want to uh, stop watching this now. Um, the word I'm going to focus on is but. And the reason that but is an important word is the way that we process it. In our processing of the word but, we uh, use a rule which is everything before but is bullshit. Um, we've all had those conversations with someone who's about to say something really offensive to us and says, no offence, but, and then continues to insult us. Now, a really simple and straightforward uh, where reframing technique can be flipping your butts. So if you think about the structure of the sentence um, as if it's written across a seesaw with the butt being the fulcrum in the middle, uh, then we get a good idea of how this word can work. On one side of the seesaw we have the no offence bit, on the other side we have the insult bit. In a scenario where we hear no offence but you're a really bad dancer, we go away feeling like our dancing skills have just been destroyed. But, if that was phrased the other way around, of, you're a really bad dancer, but I don't want to offend you, there's more of a sense of, this person likes me even though, or has some respect for me, even though I'm not a very good dancer. So that's just with changing the word order, starting to affect the uh, meaning that we draw from that sentence. Um, so there we go, everything before but. Have a go at this, have a listen out for the word but, and just think, can I rephrase that? Can I flip it round? So that actually it means the same, but with a slightly different emphasis. Have a go at it in conversations. Have a think about what impact that has on what you're trying to communicate and how you feel and how other people respond. Um, that is flipping your butt. Now, there are other ways that we can deal with the word butt. You may have noticed that in the uh, dancing example, I used the word even though. So, even though inverts the position of the subject of the sentence. So, but and even though, switching those two words or phrases around can have the same effect as uh, moving from one side of the seesaw to the other. So let's, let's try that out. So let's go with an example of it's a really nice sunny day, but it is cold. If we change that but into it's a really nice sunny day, even though it's cold. 
we've then diminished the importance somehow of the it's cold bit. So it becomes that the really nice day at the beginning of the sentence has superior importance to the it's cold bit where when we used but that it's cold became the most important part of that sentence. Now it might be that we're in a situation where that's not that's not true. We might be saying, look, it's a really nice day. Go outside, enjoy yourself. It, it's also really cold, so you will need to take a coat, and that might be the sort of thing we're trying to communicate. In that scenario, we might want things to have equal um, importance, in which case we can switch our but to and. And we can say, it's a really nice cold, it's a really nice sunny day, and it's cold. And then all of a sudden we've got those two pieces of information with equal importance. So coming back to but, have a listen out for the word but over the next week or so in conversations you have. Even when you're watching films, TV, reading a book and just think, how how would the impact of this sentence change if I change but to even though, change but to and, flip the focus by flipping the but, and listen out for those really clear everything before but is bullshit examples there really really common um, and a lot of people will use it as a way to just be downright offensive and feel like they're doing something that's acceptable think about uh, how we could rephrase that back how we could change the emphasis that was quite a short well-being Wednesday uh, non, nonetheless important, um, I hope that it's been useful to you and I will see you next week.